Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday, September 24th. Uh, happy Thursday. We got some things to do today, but I'm actually going to go to the first slide where we see bum, 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 experiment cloud formation. We got some materials. Um, we'll read them in just a moment. All right, so the materials are an empty can, a flashlight, ice cubes, glass jar, medium size with a dented lid, salt, one tablespoon of it, some water, some cold water, and some very hot water. I'll be heating the water up on a stove. Don't do this at home without adult supervision. Procedure. Step one, step two, and step three are all listed there. You can read them. Basically, we're going to put the hot water in the jar and put the metal uh, can of cold water on top. That will simulate hot water rising into the cold atmosphere and forming a cloud. Let's look at it. All right, so you have these things to do today. You all have eyeballs, and you are all awesome people, so I know you can read it. But basically, we've got two videos here, and it's important that you watch this video first. I pulled it off YouTube, so... Um, it's long. You don't need to watch the entire thing. You just need to understand how clouds form. And then we've got our science experiment. Our science experiment um, today is basically like a video without words. Um, you really just need to watch the part where the water is evaporating from the jar, condensing on the side, and then rolling down the side as precipitation. Uh, raindrops fall. Whenever a uh, raindrop gets heavy enough, it precipitates or falls down from the sky, or in this case, rolls down the side of the jar. So that's the whole point of that experiment, so that we can answer these questions. If you hear anything in the background, that's my students. Um, I'm making this video to answer some common questions about why everything is happening in today's lesson. All right. In the video, a lot of time is spent looking at the water in the jar. Record three things you observed. Try to use words, the words condensation, precipitation, evaporation. In fact, I can write that right here. Um, I saw condensation, and I told you just a moment ago where you saw condensation, so I'll let you think about that. I saw precipitation. Same deal. I saw you where I told you where we saw precipitation, so you can figure that one out. It's on the side of the jar. And finally, not to be confused with precipitation. Um, oh, actually, um, sorry about this. I saw evaporation. Evaporation is when when the steam rose. Okay, so when uh, steam rose as water vapor. All right, so that is 90% of this. Then we've got our after watching the cloud formation, the video on cloud formation, and recording your observations from the experiment. What do you think might cause cloud formation? Well, it said that cloud formation was caused. Cloud formation was caused let's make that bigger so you can actually see it with your beautiful eyeballs one moment this might be confusing cloud formation was caused um by the cold uh cold air meeting meeting oh not meeting like that meeting the uh warm lid of jar all right so when cold uh uh, cold moist air meets uh, warm air. No, sorry, the opposite. Cloud formation was caused. Yeah, when cold, when warm air. Wow, I'm confused. By the warm air meeting the cold lid of the jar, and that's what happens. Water droplets they evaporate into the air. They go into the sky, and when the sky gets really cold, then they go ahead and condense into a cloud. So those are the kind of answers we're looking for. Finally. As always, click and turn it in. And for credits today, we've got lots of great things, so you can read that. But I want to mention for triple roll in, eva in evaporation, condensation, and precipitation, I got to give it out to my guy, water in the jar. Great job. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this made sense of uh, everything in the slideshow. And have a awesome Thursday.